is a year of divine elevation. And my prayer for you is, is that God will lift you beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus. All right, let's go to the Bible. Psalm 92 from verse 10. Psalm 92 from verse 10. He said, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Say amen. amen. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 5. Verse 14. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 14. He said, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You are the light of the world. A city that is set a hill cannot be hid. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you bless the readings of your words. And let your people be blessed in the name of Jesus. It is important for us to understand that our emphasis this year is going to be more on the spiritual growth. And it will be my inner desire to see that every one of us attain uh, spiritual maturity before the end of the year. And my prayer for you is that you will grow from the level you are to the next level. If that looks like you, shout the loudest, Amen. So my topic this morning says, my light has come. Come on, shout the loudest, amen. amen. Put your hand on your chest and say, my light has come. Say it one more time. So it's important also for us to realize that no one will be promoted to the next level except you realize your personality so you may never be no one will promote you to the next level until you have a deep understanding of who you are so when someone says your light has come it means your season has come and your set time to manifest has come so in other words we must be sensitive in the spirit to take our place in destiny. We will never be ignorant about it. It will be an error for you to, to see that your light has come and then you are ignorant about it. I've come to let you know that your light has come. Say it loudest, amen. Every form of darkness that is hovering around your life before the end of the service, light will humiliate them. Your light has come. Put your hand on your chest once more and say, my light has come. Say it one more time, my light has come. Now is my season. The scripture says in the book of Psalm 100, O two verse thirteen, he said, "Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the set time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. I don't know who I'm here for. Your light has come. I say, your light has come in the name of Jesus. So when once your light come." It means that your season has come. The hour of manifestation has showed up. So it will be an error for you to be in your season and then you will be ignorant of that situation. So I'd like you to be very sensitive in the service in all throughout this year to understand that your light has truly come. Your light has truly really come. Your light has truly really come. It is your season of manifestation. 
And the truth is that no one will manifest until you begin to understand your true position in Christ Jesus. And that is why Jesus said, ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light of the world. In other words, you must understand that you are the light. You are the light of the world. You are not expected to be hiding anymore. You are the light of the world. So you need to, you, you need to have this understanding that I am the light. In other words, I am expected to manifest. I am expected to shine forth. Jesus speaking and said, how, how can you imagine seeing a candle is lighting and then you are hiding it up? So my prayer for you is that if there's anything that I've been putting you now after the service you will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus so this year no more excuse no more excuse no more wasting or wasting time no more telling stories because the world is not interested in hearing your your failure story your excuses what the world want to see is your manifestation and here the bible says ye are the light of the world ye are the light of the world in other words you are expected to shine you are expected to shine and my prayer for you is that this year this year this year this year you will shine beyond your imagination in the name of jesus so while i was preparing for what would become of us in the year 2024 the lord said to me that this year will be the year of divine elevation it shall be a year of promotion in other words we must be strategic with our steps we must be strategic with our plan everyone that is listening to me you don't have to move anyhow this year this year is never a year to joke it is never a year to play with it is a year that you have to be intentional about your growth intentional about all you do you must be strategic because jesus said you are the light and the season to shine is now and i pray for you and i pray for you again nothing shall humiliate you anymore in the name of jesus so we must be strategic with our planning. We must be strategic with our planning in our association, in making decisions. We must be more intentional about all we do. You don't have to give any excuses why you fail because no one will be interested to in hearing what happened why i didn't make it in the year 2024 so if you played last year please i beg of you this year make sure you don't play you must make sure that everything that you're doing come with precisions praise god so the lord said to me this year is gonna be our year of divine elevation it's going to be a year of divine elevation. In other words, he's sending forth his angels to, 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 to prepare a place for us. Everyone has an inheritance at the top. Everyone has an inheritance at the top. Exodus 23 20 the lord said to me i am sending forth my angels to enforce this mandate to bring it into reality but the truth is that you and i must be strategic in planning our steps must be ordered by the almighty we must realize that we are the light of the world we must realize that we are the light of the world we are not expected to do things the way we were doing it in the past we must be innovative in our planning. We must make sure that things work in our hand. And I stand here today, I decree over your life, things will work in your hand. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1, the Bible says, Arise and shine for the light is come. You need to understand that your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you already. Your light is come. Have this understanding. 
understanding this year have it this understanding this year my light is calm my light is shining you must take advantage of it you must maximize it you will grab it and make sure you run with it arise arise and shine so it is now let for you to wake up in your slumber and make sure that you're running and you're running and you're running and you're running and I pray for you you will never run in vain this year in the name of Jesus I pray for you again and again this year shall be your season of elevation the least you will ever become in all things is a thousand times so many more the least you will ever become is a thousand times so many more Isaiah 60 from verse 22 he said a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation I the Lord will hasten it in his time if there's any time God will hasten your promotion it is now and I pray for you no devil will stop your elevation in the name of Jesus so we must be strategic with our plans and then what then is a step we must take what then is the step we must take if our desire is to actualize divine elevation number one you must embrace light with your with whole with wholeheartedly sorry embrace the light wholeheartedly and make sure you understand that light is a necessity light is a necessity you have to embrace the light with all your hearts you must embrace the light with all your hearts and why must you embrace this light light enable creations light enables creation Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 he said and God said let there be light and there was a light in other words God couldn't do anything except there were light so if you want to recreate your world you need light so you must embrace the light and understand that light is a necessity you must embrace light Light also enhances beauty. The world was without form and void until God said, Light, come, and light showed up. Light enhances beauty. So, everyone that is listening to me, you must embrace light with all your heart. Light also enhances your direction. Psalm 119, 105. He said, The world is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. No one will have a clearer vision, a clearer understanding, a clearer direction of where you are going without light. And I pray for you, God of heaven, in this year 2024, we give you a clearer vision in the name of Jesus. You will never miss your place in destiny in the name of Jesus. So as I was preparing, of course, you know, we spend one month in praying. We are coming here every day, every day. So there's so much energy for you to run, so much energy. One of those services, the power of God was so much in this house. And then I picked anointing oil and I was uh, begin to anoint those who are in this house and then there's a young boy you know him Gara. when i anoint him i didn't know that something unusual has happened to him that he has already embraced the light the testimony came forth that he went somewhere around ogun state for camping and they saw a woman that had been suffering paralysis for about from 2019 till date and the boy said to him rise up and walk and immediately the woman stood up 
I don't know who I'm here for. Your story will make news. So light gives energy. Things may not work around you until you begin to realize that you are a light bearer. That you are a light carrier. Things may, no, things may never begin to fall in place until you begin to understand that Jesus said you are the light of the world, not the light of your village. In other words, when people see you, they will be happy that you showed up. You are destined to make in part, not to live an ordinary life. You are a light. How can you explain it? A light be a light will be hiding under the chair. You are in the church. Nobody knows that you are in the church. You are in the family. Nobody knows that you are in the family. It's the same story all through last year. God forbid that you will tell that same story this year again. God will give you speed. And I pray for you. Your elevation will happen by the speed of light. In the name of Jesus. So you must realize that you are the light of the world. And then you need to be strategic about it. You must be strategic about it. I listened to, I saw some boat interview somewhere. He said, it took me four years to run for nine seconds. Some of you, you are in a hurry. You are in a hurry. It took me nine, sorry, four years with preci precision. Trained for four years to run for only nine seconds. So you can never become a champion until you realize, until you understand that Jesus has said, you are a light. Come on, put your hand on your chest and say, my light has come. Say it one more time. My light has come. So you need to wake up. Some of you are waiting for when the light will come. The light is already here. It's already shining. So you need to take advantage of it. And maximize what you're doing. So number two step you must take. If you must embrace light. If you must be elevated in this year 2024 is that you have to walk in light in the light of his word walk in the light of his words first john 1 verse 5 he said this then is the message which was which we have heard of him and declare unto you that god is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. And God created you in his own image. That's an indication that you are a light bearer. In other words, when darkness sees you, they will be on their own. And I stand here today and I have decree. Anyone here that the darkness has been tormented because you are hearing the sound of my voice, the darkness will see you and they will be on the run in the name of Jesus. Have you not heard that God that you are serving is a light and there is no darkness in him. In the beginning the darkness showed up because God is light. God humiliated darkness with his word. In other words, when once darkness show up, you need to humiliate darkness with your word. And I stand here today and I have decree, as you will say the word of elevation, as you will prophesy over your life, heaven will confirm it in the name of Jesus. No darkness in him. Therefore, you must stay away from darkness. So everyone in grass in grace chapel, God has a place for you. That's all I'm trying to say. He has a place for us. And the truth is that as he was, he told me, he said, the place is not vacant. In other words, if you want to become a big businessman, there are people who are already there. 
you want to own estates there are people who are already in that business so you must be strong that is why the book of psalm 92 says you have exalted my head like the horn of a unicorn you must stay focused like the unicorn unicorn has only one horn while others has to why because he is a focused animal without one you must channel your strength into something focus on the area of your strength stop looking at him come on stop i don't know what that i'm going to use stop making that mistake channel your strengths in one particular area and muscle your strength. There's enough energy. There's enough strength in this house to move you into your place of destiny. If I can lay hand on Kara and Kara went to Ogun State and command a woman that had been paralyzed for since 2019 and that woman stood up, that's an indication there's a lot of power in this place. And I stand here today. This year, you will carry unusual energy in the name of Jesus. Kara lay hands. I said, stand up. And the woman stood up because Kara realized by the laying of hands that he is a light. You are a light. Stop waiting for the light. Your light has come. It's already here. Come on, shout it loud as amen. You just need to be a little bit strategic in your planning, in your association. Take the right step. With precision, take the right step with accuracy. This year, make sure that your resolution for the year you adhere to it. Some of you you make resolution in the by the by the third month you already going back. Stay put. This is your year of divine elevation. You believe it? Shout the loudest, Amen. Why must you be focused? I saw a young man on the internet who said, I turn Okada man turn to pilot, become a pilot. And I quickly share it on our platform. If you listen to that man's testimony, how he became from Okada rider to a pilot, a captain, you will see that none of you has any excuse why you must fail you don't have any excuse because your light has come and it will be an error for your light to come and you will be ignorant of that some of you are still looking at me you are not yet married because of nonsense mistake you're making here you're losing business because you refuse to understand that your light has come the boy said my father said i need to go and learn electrician but something tells me that I have a place at the top. Someone here, you have a place at the top. His name is Captain Callistus. He's flying with Apis. You don't have any excuse. Your light has come. Your divine elevation is here already. Of course, you know in this house, there's never been a time or a year the Lord has given us a prophetic agenda and it didn't come to pass. So you must take advantage of this world. My season, my year of divine elevation, I'm wrong with it. And you will see that the top will be your place in the name of Jesus. The boy said he was riding Okada. Riding Okada. Some of you, you are carrying big, big phone. You're not doing anything with it. I have your laptop. You're not doing anything with it. I saw a young boy on the internet. His work is to teach jam, jam lesson. And Wayek. I quickly went to their WhatsApp and check. He has 150 percent in the WhatsApp and above. And he's charging 6,500 naira per person. Now carry your calculator and press 6,500 times 150. You have 970 something thousand in a month. Which product are you selling? 
Which one? Engage your mind this year. Engage your understanding this year. Jesus says, ye are the light of the world. There must be a product that you must sell. My younger brother, I went to village this year and I saw that the boy has built a very big apartment. How? He is in the business of selling rice and beans, cooked one with stew, rice and stew. Every morning he is committed to it, dedicated to it, to it, very strategic to it. Me that is doing oil and business, I'm staying in two rooms. She is estate. How? From rice and beans. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 1, verses 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. He shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season, that whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And I stand here today and I'll decree in the year 2024, the works of your hand will flourish in the name of Jesus. Your business will flourish in the name of Jesus. You must be committed to it, doing it, because you are a light. The world is waiting for your arising. They are waiting for what will become of you. They want to see this Jesus you are calling. How impactful has it been to your life? I told Karen, I said, it is not only healing the paralysis that the redemption covers. Redemption covers prosperity, covers anything that you can think of. With your mouth, call for the thing that are not being in existence. I came back on Sunday, he says, I was waiting for the Lord for computer. Because you told me, the computer showed up. Somebody called me, I said, come and carry computer. So redemption is not only laying hands on the sick and they'll recover. It covers you using your mouth to call for the things that you desire to see. You must be strategic in your prayer life. Strategic in serving God. Don't just come to church anyhow, carelessly. Otherwise, you will become a casualty. I forbid you to become a casualty in the name of Jesus. So what then will be our experience after this year? Psalm 92 from verse 12 to 15. He said, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar in the Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. So you must be planted in the house of God because your father is light and there is no darkness in him. So if you want to experience light all through the year of 2024, want to enjoy divine elevation, be planted. Not only that you are going to be planted, not only that you are going to enjoy flourishing for a season, you will flourish all the days of your life, including your old age. I saw a little girl also who teaches phonics. Is it phonics or phonetic? Phonics or phonetic? What is it? The girl is charging 1,000. And as platform, she has over 250 persons. She teach you how to say A is for Apple only. How to say it well. 1,000. She has over 250 persons. About 280. Now, 250 in a month. 1,000. One how much is it? And you are here saying who will help me? Who helped yourself? Listen, if you have never seen any man that man didn't help, God helped him. I am the one. My own story is from motor boy to CEO and pastor. If I have been waiting for my village people, they didn't realize that I am a light, I need to shine. Maybe I will see being in the motor park. Do you know should you go, should you go, should you go, should you go? Imagine your life. Is that how you end up this year? Look yourself. Can we be on our faith? Arise, shine. 
your light has come. Come on, begin to prophesy. I will not make mistake this year. My steps are ordered by the Almighty. Leko panda katuzo preli kapa build capacity. Reko pande kosiele kapa build capacity. Speak in tongues if you can. Zeko pat katuzo prelia. No mistake this year. I'm going to run with precision, accuracy, and safety. Leko panda kari proji kapa li kapa daba. Come on, build capacity, build capacity. Speak in tongues. Leko panda ka no candle will burn, will shine without burning itself. Come on, speak in tongues. Tongues, speaking tongues, you will shine this year. Your light is come. Sickness will not have place in your life. Come on, take it serious. Take it serious. Zeko Pale Kaba. You won't end up the same way you end in 2023. There must be elevation. God is promoting you. He has sent forth his angels to go ahead of you. Though there's an occupant, there are people who are there. The place they are looking like marriage. God is making a way for you where there is no way i can't get stuck i am a light i can't get stuck i am a light let that be your prayer i can't get stuck i am a light i receive clearer direction i receive clearer direction zekota lira pandeko zile kereba i am a light i will shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter zekoto brende kopalika Zene meno zoko pa dekora Zeko pa taliko zelebra Zeko to brende kapalia basha Zeko to brende lavalava In Jesus precious name we have prayed Amen My prayer for you is that this year you will shine brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus so while I was praying, the Lord said to me, He's sending forth His angels to bring us into the place of inheritance. In other words, He has a place for everybody at the top, not below. But we must understand and realize that there are occupants in that place. But He is sending forth His angels. He showed me to the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 23 said, My angel will go ahead of you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, and I will wipe them out. I stand here today and now decree any man that will contend with you in the year 2024, may heaven wipe them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. The louder that the men will come, the faster heaven is doing it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said to me, not only that the angels will wipe away the occupant of the place, that the angel he will be sending will enforce your divine elevation and guide you all through the year 2024 and beyond and i stand here today and i have decree over your life may heaven send his guidance angel over your life in the name of jesus you will never dash your foot against the stone in the year 2024 line will fall in place and places for you he will make a way for you where there is no way Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.